Hello and welcome to Dijon, France. Oh, I love Dijon and I love France. Today we're actually going to cover, in this video, uh, the most cliche French foods that you find outside of France. So that when I say cliche French foods, we're going to cover um, the top things that people think is a cliche French thing and how readily available they are in France. Um, so join us while we hunt down the most cliche foods, cliche French foods France has to offer. He looks so happy, so happy. The first most cliche thing that we're going to get today is the croissant. As we know it, the croissants, which sounds so much less romantic than a croissant. Um, and the second thing we're going to get is the pain au chocolat, which is the chocolate croissant. Um, so look, these croissants, these pastries are such a way of life here that you can get them on, in, from almost every corner, every boulangerie, bakery, um, cafe, you know, just, just everywhere you go, you would not be probably more than a hundred meters away from somewhere that sells these pastries. And uh, another thing that is extremely cliche here is coffee, espresso. In fact, espresso is such a way of life here as well that when you go and buy um, a croissant or a pastry, like a pain au chocolat, um, you actually have combos and an espresso and a croissant or croissant um, is actually only two euro. So everywhere you go is around about two euro. So it's almost like, it's, it's a really strange one. I, I didn't anticipate it to be so cheap, but it seems like it's such a way of life that no one would tolerate it to be much more than that. You know, um, it's like only inflation is an excuse. You can't mark it up even more, and if you do, you'll get punished. So, let's take out the croissant. Look at that. Oh. Laminated layers of thin pastry dough with butter. Oh, yeasty, buttery, whatever is in there. Is there yeast in this? There's got to be yeast in this. It's got to be something that's rising it. Maybe not, I don't know, but it's got like a very, very delicious scent to it. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. And with espresso, Mmm. Croissant dipped in espresso. So delicious. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I kind of just did it right now out of random. So, but it's good. It paid off. Mm. They might hang you in the square. Yes, they, they might. They might, it might be blasphemous. I don't know, but no, it's delicious. And good. What is it with wasps? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so that's the croissant. And the next one is the pain au chocolat. <laughs> I'm just smelling the coffee just to check that I still don't like coffee. And I still don't like coffee. So, I'm not gonna have the coffee. But I will try the chocolate croissant. I'm gonna tear it open so you can see. I wanna see how much chocolate is in there. So that's a normal amount. I usually put like two little sticks of chocolate in there. Two little lines. I don't know if it's sticks or lines, whatever. Mmm. Ah, wasp. The wasp can eat the pastry. Mmm. Very buttery. Very rich. And very good. Yeah, so as Henry was saying, you can really find this everywhere. So I'm looking at the wasps to make sure it's not coming near me. 
I don't care. I don't care if it sits on a pastry. But yeah. Um, and I must say, I would say this is one of the better ones I've had. Purely because of the, um, the quality of the chocolate. The quality of the chocolate is really, really good. It's very, very rich, very, very um, bitter and dark. But because there's not a lot in there with the butteriness of the pastry, it's really good. So yeah, this is a cliche food that you can get everywhere and it's delicious and cheap. So, of course you're going to come to France and eat a croissant. I mean... Okay, so the next cliche thing that we wanted to look at is French onion soup. So, at every French restaurant outside of France or where, everywhere where we've been to, every French restaurant has French onion soup on the menu. So um, I went around quite a few restaurants in this area and I went to look at every menu and I didn't even film all of it. I, I went to look at probably about 10 restaurants. I did not find French onion soup on a single menu. Um, something that you do find here everywhere is this egg dish that's an appetizer and it's um, eggs cooked with uh, lardons and red wine. It's called Oof, Oof de Mure. I don't know how you pronounce it. But yeah, like um, that, that dish, for example, I found on every single menu. I did not find a single French onion soup on any menu. So maybe cliche French food that we thought was commonly French is not so French after all. I mean, for one thing, I thought maybe it would be called onion soup instead of French onion soup. <laughs> but no, not, not available. And what is getting us some baguette as you do? The next thing that is quintessentially and exceptionally cliche here in France is a baguette, the famous baguette. You see them walking around like this and you see them putting it in their bag, sometimes buying five, six, ten of them. It is actually so cliche that you can buy it almost in every street corner. Every supermarket you will have so much baguette all the time and you'll even like, you know, you're walking around the market and um, someone's buying different things but while they're buying it they buy a baguette first and then they pick one and then they eat it. Baguette usually comes in different types of formats like a in terms of um, the color you'll get like a sourdough um, which is a harder crust and a, and a sour more denser dough you have normal white ones um, and you get the seed ones but the most common ones that I see are these normal white bread baguettes so yeah another cliche um, another cliche French food that you can find everywhere and a must-have. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. I like carbs. Okay, so the final cliche food that you hear of in France is escargot. And we're having escargot! Yeah! Um, so escargot is actually from Burgundy and we are in the Burgundy region. So it's true, you actually do get it everywhere here. Um, and we've had it quite a few times actually. This is from, uh, we're in a market and it's just in the bar in the middle here and this is all they serve. So you're supposed to, you're supposed to hold the snail with this thing and then like dig out the, dig out the snail. But honestly, um, I actually find it really hard. <laughs> Using, I find it really hard using this thing, like the snail is really stuck in there. Um, so I'm just going to use my hands, I'm very uncultured and... Oh man, this snail is very stuck in there. Try another one, try another one. Yeah. That, one that one looks like it's a little exposed. Okay. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, I find it much easier without this clamp thing. The clamp thing is very, like, it just slips out. So yeah, there you go, there's a snail. Always served with parsley, garlic butter. You can see all the butter. Um, actually, I'm going to pour the butter over it just because it's delicious. Look at that. Mm. Mm, yum. I love it. 
I grew up eating snails just like this, but without this. <laughs> so I knew it would be good. And then I'm drinking a, a burgundy glass of wine with it. And yeah, this you can literally find on every menu here that I've seen so far. Um, and it's almost always served this way as well. So this is definitely um, a cliche French food that you do actually find everywhere. But yeah, thanks for watching and um, check out our other videos of Dijon if you want to see more food in France and in Burgundy. And subscribe.